Springfield, Massachusetts. And after the red eye and after working this morning, I am ready to go to bed for a little bit. I thought this was the Marriott I stayed at last time, but it's not. It's the Sheridan Monarch. This is one of the few hotels I haven't stayed at in Springfield. I've stayed at multiple several times. But now that Sheridan has joined the Marriott family, I'm looking forward to seeing what this is like. So the hotel isn't the newest. I'm on the 12th floor, which is the club member lounge. I'm actually right next to the club. Could be good, could be bad. I mean, easy access, but there's probably a ton of volume in this corner right here, but whatever. We'll go in there later, check it out, but let's check out the room. All right, let's check out this bathroom. So the room has been redone. You can see that the room has been redone, which is great because outside it's a little dilapidated, the carpet's old, the design is old, it's that old indoor atrium type of style, but new materials on the inside and I like it. Um, I love these external sinks, these are really, really cool. This is not marble, this is not real um, wood, but at least it's new material, I really, really like that. Nice mirror with, an, with a fluorescent outline, that's really cool. Brand new shower with glass. This is the nicest hotel, I can already tell. I can already tell this is the nicest hotel that is in Springfield. And that's not saying much because uh, besides the Marriott across the street, there's like a La Quinta and a courtyard. So there's a lot of the competition. Back in the day when Springfield was a booming industrial city, uh, there's probably a lot of competition. It's probably why the Sheraton and the Marriott exist here. It's probably because of legacy. Nonetheless, this is by far the nicest hotel that's in Springfield and I've been to all of them. Here's one more look at the bathroom. So nice materials. What do we have here? We have Le Grand Van. Cool artwork. All right, shower's nice. Let's get in here. Full length mirror, nice. What's up? It's a little dark in here. There's not a lot of light up here. I've noticed that a lot in the hotels. There isn't a lot of recessed lighting. Um, it's just a lot of lamps. I like this artwork. I like how they modernize the room. So let's continue the tour. Let's do this bed test. I feel like every bed test they say is pretty good, but I do stay in a lot of nice places, so I'm gonna continue the momentum of going out and saying this bed is really good. And it is. Uh, the sheets are really, really soft. These pillows are super soft. I love really thin and soft pillows. These aren't the thinnest, but they're really soft. The pillows are awesome. And the bed is a little firm. So you kind of get uh, a yin and yang type deal. It's a little paradoxical. You get really, really soft and lush uh, pillows. And then the bed is a little firm. I like the combination. It's really nice. All right, one more time. Yeah. Yeah, it's a winner for sure. So, uh, like I said, there's some cool artwork right there. That is, in fact, Springfield. Um, I'm not sure what this building is, but I can tell you right now that this is the National Basketball Hall of Fame. It's the, uh, yeah, the Basketball Hall of Fame, which I've never been to. I've been in this city probably five or six times. I've never been to the National Basketball Hall of Fame, which is in this city. I got to go this time. I feel like if I say it on camera, I'm going to do it. So I hope I hope I get there this time. Nice little TV, Samsung. All right, glass here. I like when they put glass over uh, the wood. Gives it a classier feel and it keeps things a lot cleaner. So. I get moving. I get to express myself truthfully. These Marriott Bonvoy commercials are absolutely awful.
love Bonvoy, hate the commercials. All right, let's check out this desk. All right. Yeah, it's a good working chair. It's comfortable, but not too comfortable where you're not gonna fall asleep or, or start reading a book or start surfing the internet. You're in this chair to work, but you can work for probably a few hours in this chair, I like it. Yeah, it tilts back, it's nice, it's good. There are two restaurants in this place. I was told there's a steakhouse and a sports bar. Hopefully we'll sneak our way down there sometime this week. Water free, free and free, thank you very much. They gave me this gift bag upon entering, which is another water. Uh, chewy marshmallow with brown butter and sea salt, sweet street. And uh, some type of Gardetto's meets nut assortment. All right, thank you for the welcoming gift. All right, let's check out this uh, this couch chase thing. I'm pretty sure this pulls out. It should. Yeah, so this pulls out if I want it to. It's really heavy, so I'm not gonna do it. But let's check this out. Ooh, okay, this is not comfortable. This is not comfortable by any means. But if you're eating breakfast, right, if you're like right here eating breakfast, this is pretty cool. Just put the breakfast right here. It's all business, you're in and you're out. You sit down and pull up a website about where you wanna go eat dinner or you know, maybe read a quick chapter of a book, but this is not comfortable, this is stiff. This is right out of Ikea. This is purely form and not functional. And again, some more art right here. I like this light. It's like a cool neon light, cool in the sense of its um, iridescence. I like the, the output on it. It's uh, it's very cool blue. It's not that warm industrial neon. It's that cool blue neon. So I like that a lot. But yeah, this is the uh, this is the Monarch, the Sheridan Monarch. Again, I thought this was the Marriott. I thought they renamed it, and the Marriott's across the street. And I'm kind of happy to be here because this is a better hotel than the Marriott I stayed at last time. Okay, so let's just quickly go over here. You have some functional reading lights here. All right, you can tilt those, tilt and swivel. You have two USB, two powers, and then the same for over here. So that's your room tour. The gym is actually quite large. It's a little seating area. All right, so a little seating area right here before you go into the gym. In case you don't want to work out, and uh, the person you're with does. All right. And you have to walk through a couple hallways. It's at the end of level four. Um, it's in the corner, which is great. You always want your gym on the corner. Here's a little patio. Nice little sanctuary out there. Here's the pool area. Hey, ladies. Beautiful pool area. Nice little age room. And then a nice little sitting area over here. Indoor pool in Springfield. Pretty cool. Alright. Here's that sitting area. Here's the opposite side of the pool. And so tons of square footage in this gym. And then they have some machines hidden off in this corner where you do some legs. Alright, so you have your uh, chest press. So you have your uh, lat pull down here. You have some assisted dips, leg extension, uh, hammies, press, all right. And then you have a different assortment of bikes. Okay, you have your ellipticals. Then you have your uh, sit down cycles, a couple of stair climbers, all right. These don't have the actual TVs built in, doesn't look like, but it does have a TV up there. All right, and then a medley of different treadmills. Again, the TV right there, and TV right there. And if you don't want to watch TV, you can just look at yourself right in there. So lots and lots of treadmills. The equipment here is old school, but I like it. It's like a throwback to like the 60s, 70s gyms. You can see that this uh, tri pulled on rope is beat up, right? It's really shredded, but I like it. Um, you just tell by the equipment, right? It's just, I mean, it's made to last forever, and it, and it definitely will. I like it. Don't see free weights too often 
in a hotel usually due to liability issues and they're set up right so you got two benches here right you got the prone position here and then you got your weights over here right an actual freeway gym so old school old school iron i love the nostalgia um lots of meals looks like the weights over here go up to let's see how high they go up to Weights go up to 85 pounds. All right, so that's a real gym. Weights go up to 85 pounds. So, historic equipment, but again, I hate to be redundant. Just really, 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 really cool stuff. So I'm gonna get to work and do a quick workout, and then I'm gonna show you the rest of the hotel. Basically, there's two restaurants on site. I don't think I'm gonna eat here, but we're gonna, I'm gonna have at least, uh, hopefully, a drink maybe a quick bite at uh, each of the places. All right, I'm gonna hit my workout and we'll check in later. Workout complete, full-blown workout. If you're doing a bro split, if you're looking to concentrate on a specific exercise group and you actually need a full gym, uh, this is a gym to go to. It's got everything you need for a complete workout, whether it's full body or a specific part. So it was great. Again, one of the bigger and better gyms I've easily been to this year, if not in, the, in a long time, so. so. Here's the, uh, here'd be the terrace that we peered through when I first got here. This is not a bad little sanctuary for Springfield. Uh, it's really clean up here. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful evening here in Springfield. Who says you couldn't find any beauty in Springfield? Springfield is the butt of a lot of jokes, kind of like a Gary, Indiana. But you know what? Um, you got UMass here. There's a lot of industry. We went to some really great places. There's some solace in Springfield. I think I found one of those areas. It's on the fourth level of the Sheridan Monarch. I like this hotel. You know, yeah, it, it isn't the most modern, but it does a phenomenal job at delivering on the Sheridan brand guidelines, on the brand quality. And uh, I've stayed at every single hotel here that's worthwhile. I've been coming to the city for years, for over 13 years. I actually forgot about this hotel. I thought this was the Marriott. And I've never stayed at Sheridan's before because only recently did Sheridan get into the Marriott ecosystem. If I could have it my way, I'll never stay at another Springfield property again. So. Uh, there's two on-site places to eat, and I'm gonna try to check those out. And uh, that's pretty much gonna conclude my time here. So I'm gonna get back to the room and, uh, and get dressed. All right. We're gonna down to MVP for a quick drink and a bite. I just wanna check it out. I wanna give you guys an experience of what MVP is like. There's another restaurant on the same level as well. It's more of a steakhouse sit-down place. Frankly, it doesn't look that good. I may get a chance to go in there, but I definitely want to go to MVP. This is level number two. And you can see it's got a nice grounds to it. There's MVP pub over here. And then here is Pix. Here's that restaurant I was just talking about. All right, so here's Pix. I don't know if we get a chance to go in here or not. Maybe, maybe not. It doesn't look like there's a bar area, so I don't think we're gonna go in there. But uh, we are gonna get into uh, into MVP. And you can see it's a nice place, right? It's got great geometries, it's got great lighting. It's a little outdated, dare I say 80s-ish. We're gonna walk in here. My main man Zod's uh, oldest friend, who's been with me every single night this trip, which is really, really cool. He's driven 45 minutes, he is an awesome dude. He drove here, so we're gonna go in here real quick for a drink, uh, MVP, and then we're gonna head on out. What is happening? Hey, I guess what, I found a microphone. Yeah, yeah it's in my bag the whole time. Never even had it on the whole time. Never even had it on. So I haven't talked about this a lot, but I will. Uh, I'm officially 2019 sports vlogger. I vlogged for a complete day without a microphone, with a microphone plugged in. It fell out. Look at this reaction, it's so funny. Um, and to make matters to make matters even worse, um, I went to the number one pizza place in the entire, in, in the entire United States. Uh, how long was the drive? Two hours? Vlog the whole time uh, without a microphone, so don't quit my day job for sure. Anyway, we're at uh, MVP, oh, right? we're at MVP, and uh, we're in at Zod's, oh. and uh, you got a, uh, what do you have? I have a Tito's and ginger ale. Tito's ginger, and uh, 
Guinness. Cheers. All right, let's get out of here. This is, uh, this is MVP. Zaz made a very funny quip. He says, MVP is not for service. There's one girl in there. She probably didn't know what conference was in here. Maybe we can't cut her any slack. There's a bunch of people in there. There's one chick. It wasn't that good. Um, the food was, I'd probably say, C minus. And uh, it's, it's, it's bar food. But uh, good crowd. If you're looking to catch a game or uh, just go down there for a quick pint or a quick bite, it's for you. Uh, this place is dead. Um, picks, so we're transitioning into a morgue. We're gonna go upstairs to the club level real quick. We're gonna get a drink, because I have to do the club level. It's part of the routine sides. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna go. We're about to go tour the club level. Uh, I guess I'll have to All right, so this is the club level. Um, you do have to pay for drinks up here, but you have these. Yeah, and they're saying- I think some food over here. So are you hungry for any of this? Read about the uh, Yeah, yeah, you do. Piece of cheese? Yeah. I helped you last time. If you were gonna find the company last time. You too, we, we came up for a drink, we said we would. There's Zads. Got some hors d'oeuvres over here. Zads, you want a soda for the road? Yeah, I don't know if there's anything in here. Nope. Did she just uh, take her drink order and take off? <laughs> I, think she, I think she did. Yeah. I did. Uh, you got some art in the wall, right? I mean, I don't know how comfortable this is. Yeah, this is actually pretty comfortable. Yeah, you got some coffee over there, TV. It's open until nine. Two computers. And you got coffee over here. Keurig. All right, Sam Adams Light. I don't actually think I've had a Sam Adams Light in my life. I've had a, some Sam Adams Light. Never a light. It's crisp. It's refreshing. It's scrumptious. It's fucking weird. All right, so I'm checking out. And it was a great stay. If you are, uh, you come into Springfield, usually you're gonna come for either business, uh, industry, or, uh, or for sports. Uh, you know, UMass, the Basketball Hall of Fame. My only issue with this, um, was that here's the club lounge and here's my room. So if you're gonna stay at this Sheridan, my only feedback to you uh, that is negative would be that do not stay in room 1212. That's it, great hotel. Again, probably the best in Springfield. I've said that many times. I can't reiterate that enough. But if you're offered room 1212, do anything you can to change because it's right next to the club and that door opens and closes perpetually incessantly and it's really annoying. My friend asked me why I didn't complain. I don't know, I guess it's not my style. Marriott treats me really, really well. And I guess somebody had to stay in that room and it was me. So I guess I really didn't complain that much. And plus I was working all day and I went out a lot at night. So I don't know, they treat me really well, Marriott does. I mean, I guess I spent a lot of money with them so they should, but I don't know, I've never really complained about rooms. Maybe I should. Next time I will for sure, next time I know. So anything but 12-12. So. Here's one last view of the lobby, all right? So that's it, that is Springfield. We go back to work for the day and then make my way to Boston. Uh, nothing particularly special about my Boston hotel. I'm trying to figure out where I parked it. Um, it's right by the airport. Um, it's one of the, I think it's like a Fairfield Inn or, or something like that. I'm just trying to uh, make an early flight the next day. So unfortunately, nothing too extravagant in Boston this time. But uh, maybe I'll check in then. If not, Springfield, uh, the Sheridan made it worthwhile. I liked it. And uh, it's back to California. All right.